Passport. Check. Ticket. Check. Traveler's check. Traveler's checks? Check. We got 18 minutes to get you to the airport. Let's go. Oh, sis, why don't you relax, OK? I hate hanging out at airport lounges. I want to be special. I want to be the last one to board the plane. Bobby, you miss this plane. I'm not coming back to the airport to pick you up. You can sleep in the lounge. OK, fine, fine, fine. Fine. Come on, let's go. Have a glass. You deserve it. Hey, listen, if Reno should find Mickey Norton. We'll handle it. Well, if the Carter case should go to trial. Bobby, it's a week from Tuesday. You'll be back by then. Now, let's go. You're already late. You're in the car. You're gone. Six you're on the way to the airport. Well, let me just hear who it is. My name is Woody Bickford. I'm a sergeant with the Bay City Police Department. I work with Lieutenant Dutch Dixon. Hold on. I'm here. Are you alone? I'm here with my sister. What can we do for you? It's, it's what I can do for you and your friend, Reno Reigns. Reno who? Look, I don't have time for games. Because what you know about Dixon is just the tip of a real bad iceberg. And what's worse? This guy's losing it. Big time. Who is he now? He's crumbling right before my eyes. Uh, he, he nearly beat a teenage suspect to death yesterday with his bare hands. And then he turned and looked up at me as if it suddenly dawned on him. I know everything about him. My life is in danger. Look, this is real nice, Sarge, but if you want protection, I suggest you call a cop. I've been sent up on this guy for months now, just in case something like this came down. He's got this, this hunting place up near Temecula. He keeps a buried Hal Burton suitcase stuffed full of cash from all of his dirty plays. There's also evidence in there on me and the rest of the cops on Dutch's detail. We appreciate you sharing this with us, Sergeant, but we have no contact with Mr. Reno Reigns. You can't do this to me, man. You gotta help me, please. I think Dutch is gonna burn me. Listen, Sarge. I can smell this setup through 50 miles of phone cables. It's been nice talking to you, but I have a plane to catch. Not anymore, you don't. You just missed it. By the story. What are you talking about? Lieutenant, look, don't get crazy, man. Just don't get crazy, please. Hey, I'm not crazy, Woody. I'm disappointed. Well, we could fix that. good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. Norton, take Dee Dee DuPont to be your lawful wedded wife in sickness and in health, or richer or poorer, as long as you both shall live? Yeah, sure. Hey, 
Well, I mean, uh, you know, I do. And do you, Dee Dee, take Mickey to be your lawful wedded husband in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, as long as you both shall live? I do. Yes. If anyone here knows of any reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. How does a bride feel about conjugal prison visits? <laughs> This here is a house arrest tracking device. You try to run, and I track you down with this thing oh. right here. See? And don't try to cut it. It's made out of titanium alloy. You animal! Get your hands off of him! What do you think you're doing? Saving you a lifetime of heartache, ma'am. Where is your sense of decency? It's his wedding day! Well, I hope he bought you a nice big gift. Because Mickey here robbed an armored car. Him and his pals got away with $500,000 cash. Ain't that right, Mickey? Mickey? Oh, what's it doing, Didi? He, he doesn't know what he's talking about. You cheap son of a oh, half carrot solitaire. It's all I could afford. Oh, it's our love that's important, not a piece of jewelry. Yeah, right. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. The key to a successful marriage is, is, is sharing. Now, why don't you share with me the location of the money from the heist, huh? I think I'll wait till we're married, huh? And he can use his ticket from the flight he missed. It doesn't have to be reissued. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. OK, you've got a layover in Mexico City, but the airline won't charge you. I told him there was a death in the family, so look bereaved. In the gunshot murder of Bay City Police Sergeant Woodrow Bickford, we have videotape of this murder shot by a man in a hotel across the street. We want to advise you this footage is very graphic. Police are still trying to contact Lieutenant Donald Dixon, seen here on the videotape. Now, Dixon was the partner of this lane officer and was seen leaving the murder site in a tan sedan. Officer Dixon did not report for his shift this morning, and there is a statewide alert out for his capture. Come on, Reno, come on. You know, the last thing Bickford said on the phone was that Dutch Dixon buried a a suitcase filled with dirty money on a piece of property that he owns near Temecula. Temecula? Sounds like a prison in Eastern Europe. <laughs> Inland Empire, up in the mountains. I computer searched all the real estate sales in the last 10 years, but... No Dixon, right? Nah, he's too smart to use his own name. But don't worry, she'll find him. She's all over his bank accounts, credit cards, everything. I got a couple leads myself, so if he surfaces, we'll find him. You know, I just can't believe that Dixon would blow away his own partner. He did it before, right? You know. If Bickford was right, and there's some information about those other dirty cops in that suitcase, maybe we can get a guy to roll over, make a deal. Maybe we can clear your name. Maybe. He's the trophy, pal. Let's go get him. Look at this. A five-figure reward, huh? Welcome to hunting season. Hey, Tarzan! I'm dying over here. Is that right, Mickey? Yeah, and I'm starving. And plus, I gotta answer the call. Oh, that's no problem, no problem. All you gotta do is tell me where the loot is buried. I don't gotta go that bad. Really? Yet. A lot of firepower. I might need it. I just have one question. Why? Shy, don't starve, okay? You know, this man has been haunting my every waking moment for the past two years. That's what worries me, Reno. You are gonna bring him in, right? Right? If he lets me. What do you think the chances of that happening are? Look, I promise I'll be careful, okay? But if he comes at me first, all bets are off.
Nice jacket, hombre. Looks like my size, too. You guys might want to rethink this. Oh. Tough guy, huh? I like your boots, too, man. What's to say I don't take them? Mr. Bill here. Ah, don't try it, Paco. The avocado salad's gonna fly. Hey, take it easy, amigo. I was just kidding, man. I was just making a joke. Oh, sit and get that. You guys should work on your delivery. Yeah, you're right, man. We just admire your boots and jacket. That's all, man. Well, if you guys need clothes, you should have said something. Maybe I can help you out with that. What, are you crazy, man? See, what we got here, boys, is a unique business opportunity. My employer, he fired me. We got to take back his credit cards. So go have a party on Mr. Donald Dixon. Take him down to his Argyle socks. <laughs> so why don't you use them, man? Got plenty more right here. Are hey, you OK, F.A.? You know something? I'm going to treasure that. Let's have a good time. Dutch's mistress didn't pan out. We tracked her down, but she didn't know a thing. What else you got? Uh, that old Dutch, he's clever. He gave his credit cards to some Mexicans. Cops just picked those guys up at the east end of I-8. He's laying a false trail. He's probably headed west. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Listen, you better get going, pal. He's in a tan Mercedes. The guy really knows how to run from the law in style. What's the latest on Mickey? You find a half a mil yet? I'm uh, working on it. You be safe. Yeah. a minute this better be good card well you tell me you see that car over there what about it trade I own it runs real good and works just one question why of course my wife, she screws around on me for three years, and she hires an attorney, and she says she's going to take me for everything I own. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. I don't think she's going to want your truck. Yeah, OK. You mind popping your hood? Oh, you mind popping yours? Not at all. belt's almost new. She leaks oil here, here, and over there. She'll gobble down about a quart, about every 500 or so. I can live with that. OK, deal. Deal. Howdy, neighbors.
for a phone. I busted my cell tussling with you. You got anything to eat? Not for you. I got a handcuffs on, a tracking place. Where the hell am I going, huh? You got somebody to pray to. I suggest you get busy and dial him up. What, are you gonna kill me? That's the routine? <laughs> No, we already did this. And you couldn't pull the trigger then, you can't pull it now. I'm a different guy than I was back then. No, you're not. Get your white hat pulled so far down over your eyes, you don't know whether you're upside down or backwards. Then you're in for a big surprise, Dutch. You cost me everything. My girl, my freedom, my reputation. Man, this is a dream come true. You don't think I can pull the trigger? Man, I've been dreaming about pulling the trigger. So let's go find your final resting place. I'm not going for this. Who cares? Get out. Down that way. Where do you want it? Head or heart? Look. I didn't have a choice. I was, I was caught in a trap. I was fighting for my life. It wasn't personal. It was to me. You killed Val. She was the most important person in my life. We were gonna be married and you shot her down like she was trash. I didn't kill her. Hog killed her. It was a mistake. Look, don't do this. Where's the suitcase, Dixon? I didn't have time to pack. You looked in my car, there's no suitcase. So long. <sighs> Reigns, look. For the love of God, will you just listen? Will you listen? I've been listening. And you ain't saying much. I'm, so, I'm sorry what happened to you. To that beautiful girl. I, I tried to stop it, but it, it got out of control. Little by little, I, I got further out over the edge. and I, I got trapped out there. I was fighting for my life. I don't give a damn! I only want to know one thing, where that suitcase is buried. I know you have evidence that can clear me. Bickford told us before you shot him. He said you have a ranch up in Temecula, and that's where the suitcase is. You can keep yourself alive a little bit longer if you dig it up and give me something I can use to clear my name. And then what, you, you kick me in the empty hole, you just bury me? Hey, either that or I bury you here. Killer. Finally, where you been? Putting the screws to a certain armored car bandit with no success. Where are you? Outside Temecula. You got him? Yeah, got him right here. Bobby says hi. How fast can he get here? Real fast. Did he tell you where the suitcase is buried? Yeah, he's taking me to it. Of course. Dutch loves his money. He might get a little stubborn at the last minute and get himself wasted. Then we'd have to tear his place apart, so why don't you bring up a metal detector? Will do. I'll leave my cell on, so when you get there, call me with the directions. You got it. Hey, maybe this is almost over. Yeah, maybe, pal. Get in. We got an appointment with a suitcase. Look, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but it's not gonna be as easy as you think. Kind of expecting this. You don't want to push me, Dutch. You might end up on a dirt pile with a bunch of leaking holes. Look, I said I was going to take you to the suitcase. I'm going to take you to the suitcase. 
It's just there's stuff in there about cops, cops that had skinned me to save themselves. I figure, you know, if I help you, you gotta help me. I don't gotta do anything. Get in. <laughs> People always told me you were an okay guy. Look at all the good it did me. Look, I'm sorry what happened to you. In the beginning, I had all the same ideas about being a cop. But it went wrong. And I woke up one morning, and I was someone else. Look, I don't want to hear about it, okay? I don't want to hear your confession. It cost me too damn much. It's hard for me to pinpoint where it all went wrong. Maybe it was losing my first partner, Dave Bishop. <laughs> the department, they kicked out his pension on a technicality. His wife and his kids, they had nothing. I wanted Dave's kids to have an education. I dipped into the till and stole a couple of busts. Everything just changed. Yeah, well, remorse never sounds good from a guy in cuffs. The time to work on your character is when you're in control right now. Just sounds like whining. Ten feet down, right there. Where are the shovels? Through the house. Tools are in the garage. Let's go. Look, I got money, lots of it. From the robberies we committed, I could cut you in. How's a hundred thousand dollars sound? I've been accessory to every crime you ever committed. Maybe you can live with that, but I couldn't. Come on. $100,000, that buys a lot of forgiveness. Money buys things. Forgiveness you gotta get at the big window. Let's go. Where's the garage? Through the kitchen. In, but you had to play it this way. I'm gonna pay you back. Not for a while, is my guess. Inside. Ugh. Ugh. I guess it happened a little sooner than he thought. took you so long to get here? Well, I had to rub him down, Woody. This puke here, he was getting set to dust me. Weren't you, Ray? Huh? <laughs> but you know what's wrong with uh, drugstore heroes, Woody? They so believe in their own righteousness, they make mistakes. Don't you, Dudley? You do that again, you'll have to kill me right here. Oh, no, we don't want that, do we? Because I got big plans for you. Here, Woody, put this tracking bracelet on his wrist. So the whole thing... The shooting in the motel parking lot, the newscast, the false trailer with a credit card, it was all a setup. That's right, Reigns. Our noble boys in blue are gathered at a wash, 20 miles away from here. 
<laughs> but Dutch and I, we switched locations with a mysterious suitcase. There is no suitcase, is there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a suitcase. It's just not here. Woody, you follow us on the bike. Reigns, you and I have an appointment I've been waiting two years to keep. Another the thing, you try any of that chop sake nonsense, I'm gonna pop a cap at you and I'm gonna have a smoke while you bleed to death. Are we straight on that? <laughs> hey, if I make you nervous, that's your problem. We'll see whose problem it ends up being. That's a sad fact. But you know what? It's gonna make a hell of a news story. You jumped me, took off running. I had to shoot. As far as I can remember, you can never hit anything. So I'll move a little closer. Let me ask you something. Why don't you take that money? Hundred thousand dollars buys you a whole new life. There's no money up there. Yeah. But you didn't know that. Puzzles you, doesn't it? I guess you just have to live with it. Yeah, you puzzle me. It's big fish, little fish. Why can't you see that? There's no morality in police work. It's just one big tag team wrestling match where cops keep losing. Being a cop isn't about right or wrong. Really? Then what the hell is it about, Dixon? Hey, it's about legal and illegal. It's wrong for a guy to blow away his kids, his wife. But it's illegal if you don't Mirandize him, so he walks. Cops just run the asylum. They try and keep from getting pulverized. So you cross over, take a little bit for yourself, is that your answer? Look what this gee whiz code of ethics got you, huh? On the run? About to get executed? Hey, when I look in the mirror, I like who looks back. Yeah, I like myself. It's fine. Boom! You like your ranch and you like your boat, but you hate Don Dixon. It's a heavy weight to carry. I couldn't do it. This is Lieutenant Dixon, Special K Unit, Bay City. Sergeant Bickford and I have apprehended the prisoner. We're on our way back to the Temecula substation. ETA 20 minutes. I supposed to ride with these on? Woody, cut him loose. Dutch, you know all he's gonna do is run. Well, his tank's almost empty. Nothing out here for 100 miles. I've been working on my shooting. Even if I do get lucky, I still have this to lead you to me. Well, I admit it does kind of kill the sport, but I'm basically interested in results here. This is Sergeant Frank Bigford. The prisoner has escaped, and he's headed west on the old river runoff. Shoot to kill. I always knew it would come down to this, Dutch. How'd it happen? Kiss off! Come on, we'll get him with a tracker.
this? What is it? Motorcycle tracks. He's been here. Yeah, come on, let's go. What? It's too late, Bobby. We're too late. What are you talking about? He's dead, Bobby. Reno's dead. This was a trap. This whole thing was a trap. We both knew it all along. Listen to me. I'm the Indian warrior brave here, remember? If anybody should see visions, it's me. And I see us getting to him in plenty enough time. Plenty of time. OK? Let's go. Come on. on him. here. Let's go. One thing, Woody. I'm going first. Pumps are locked, so he didn't gas up. He can't get farther with less than a gallon in there. Well, he didn't pass us coming in here, so that's the only way he could have gone. Yeah, unless he took the highway. I said we called for an aerial search. No, no, not yet. We've got to kill this guy. We can't have him testifying in court. Any direction we choose, we could be off by 20 miles. We've got to call for help. We can't. We have to. If we wait, 
Reno's a dead man. Yeah. Yes, Imperial County Sheriff's Office. This is Robert Sixkiller. I'm a licensed bounty hunter. I'm here with my associate, and we're calling for some assistance. Well, what seems to be the problem? I have an APB from Bay City, Dixon Donald A. He's wanted for the murder of a cop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got his ticket right here. What makes you think he's in my county? Well, he may no longer be at the rate he's flying. We've been tracking him in your direction, but I lost him in the desert. What's your 20 right now? We're on the state highway about five miles west of Garlock. We're driving a black Hummer. If I were you, Sheriff, I'd come and join the party yourself. I'm on my way. Bobby, I have an idea. What took you so long? Well, actually, you're the one who's late. We've been waiting around for hours. This is a heck of a place to make your final stand. Now I got a big decision to make. Whether to drag your carcass back to civilization or leave you out here for a bunch of hikers to find your bones. Life is full of crummy choices. Yeah. But in this case, it's the last one. Go ahead, drop it. That's right there. Drop it! Go ahead and kill me, Dixon. Then you'd stand trial for two murders. Drop it right there, Dutch. Drop it! Assaulting a police officer, Bobby? Apprehending a murder suspect, Dutch? Oh, I don't think so. Meet the victim. Good to see you again, Bobby. Just out of curiosity, how did you find us? Shaw remembered the tracker comes with two receivers. You took the transmitter with you. Now, Rena Rains, 
You're under arrest for the murder of Sergeant Buzzy Burrell. Next, on Renegade. Miss Thackeray, I'm having a little problem with my accommodations. My cellmates are trying to kill me. R.W. Thackeray, she is the best. It was Lieutenant Dixon who framed him to keep from being arrested himself. We can't kill him. Yeah, we can kill him. Just gotta get somebody who doesn't mind being charged with murder. According to this, Hound Adams was never on the planet. Amped out rock and roll cowboy training sparks and we can't find him. Would you sign the sheets, please? You want the book, TV, and movie rights to my story? And what did you see? I saw the murder of Buzzy Burrell. Don't hurt him. It's off. Mr. Adams, is that man in this courtroom? Yes, ma'am, he sure is. 